great pleasure to introduce my seventh child, Robert Francis Kennedy. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm going to tell them you did. Well, why don't you give your own speech? <laughs> See, that's it. We don't. Uh, my brother and I never. The reason she's never introduced any of us before is because we never go on the same platform with her. I mean, we couldn't possibly compete with that. Your son's gone into politics, but you wouldn't particularly urge your daughters to go into politics. Well, I think that first duty of course that family, and I doubt, I think it would be very difficult to do both if you had many children, of course, you only had a few, and some people have done it. I wouldn't be a judge of that. But in my particular case, I was quite involved with, uh, you know, with nine children, and... Uh, That's enough, really, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, Ethel has 11, she beat me. <laughs> <laughs> but as I said, I didn't know there was going to be a competition. <laughs> When you hold your baby in your arms the first time and you think of all the things you can say and do to influence him, it's a tremendous responsibility. What you do with him and for him can influence not only him, but everyone he meets, not for a day, a month, a year, but for time and for eternity. This is a life remembered. The 100 years of our mother, Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy, daughter of a mayor, wife of an ambassador, mother of nine children, including a president and three senators, a woman who became an international champion for people with mental retardation. <laughs> 